Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan in this very very exciting video of number theory challenge where we are going to solve an interesting equation xy minus 7 whole square equal to x square plus y square. We have to find out all non-negative xy pairs. While solving this problem, I will use algebraic manipulation, identities, quadratic equation and fundamental of integers number theory. So let's get started by adding 2xy to both sides. So I will add 2xy in the left hand side. So I will add in the right hand side and left hand side both. Okay. RHS will give us x plus y whole square because this is identity a square plus b square plus 2ab a plus b whole square. LHS. So LHS I will 2xy as it is expand this a minus b whole square. So a square plus b square minus 2ab. So minus 14xy. Okay. So 2xy minus 14xy. I will write x square y square minus 12xy plus 49 equal to x plus y whole square. Now I can see because of this is 12, I will split this 49. Let me write x square y square minus 12 xy plus 36 plus 13. 49 into 36 plus 13. Advantage would be this is xy minus 6 whole square plus 13 equal to x plus y whole square unchanged x plus y whole square. Take square terms to the left constant to the right. So xy minus 6 whole square minus x plus y whole square equal to negative 13. Now I will use one algebraic identity. The third one difference of square let me write here a square minus b square it is a minus b times a plus b or a plus b times a minus b so consider in your mind that this is a this is b so we will write let me write here x y minus 6 this is a minus b okay so b is x plus y second product bracket would be xy minus 6 plus x plus y that product is equal to negative 30. Now one important thing if a is xy minus 6 b is x plus y check this out once I will consider this bracket and this bracket if I will call this is my P and this bracket is my Q then remember this thing P must be always less than Q. Okay. First bracket would be always less than because you, you are taking difference xy minus 6 minus x plus y and in Q bracket xy minus 6 plus x plus y. This sign is important. Now prime factorization as we know 13 is prime number. So we can write 1 times 13, 13 times 1. Minus sign is there. So we will put minus sign only here. You cannot consider the otherwise case because Q is always bigger than P. So I will have only two cases. Negative 1 times 13 or negative 13 times 1. Okay. We are having only two cases possible because of P is less than Q. Now let's frame the system of equations. First set we will be having, we will write P equal to minus 1, Q equal to 13 and second set we can write P is equal to minus 13 and Q is equal to 1. Okay, now let's write what is P. P is xy minus 6 
माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन वॉट वॉज क्यू क्यू वॉज एक्स वाई माइनस सिक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू थर्टीन दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन नाउ सेकेंड लेट्स फ्रेम दिस वन ऑल्सो एक्स वाई माइनस सिक्स माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू नेगेटिव थर्टीन एंड एक्स वाई माइनस सिक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू वन दिस इज सेकेंड सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन सो लेट सॉल्व इट हाउ वी विल सॉल्व लेट मी नंबर इट फर्स्ट आई एम कॉलिंग दिस इज माई इक्वेशन वन एंड दिस इज माई इक्वेशन टू ओके आई विल टेक अवे वन फ्रॉम टू ओके सो टू माइनस वन आई एम डूइंग आई विल बी हैविंग टू टाइम्स एक्स प्लस वाई वुड बी इक्वल टू थर्टीन माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन फोर्टीन एक्स प्लस वाई वुड बी सेवन ओके पुट दिस इन इक्वेशन वन सो इक्वेशन वन विल बी एक्स वाई माइनस सिक्स माइनस सेवन इक्वल टू माइनस वन एक्स वाई वुड बी इक्वल टू थर्टीन माइनस वन सो ट्वेल्व Now x plus y is seven. X y is equal to twelve. I will write y from here. Twelve over x put over there. Put in this equation. So x plus y. Let me write x plus twelve over x equal to seven. Okay. Multiply both sides by x. X is square plus twelve equal to seven x. X is square minus seven x plus twelve. Equal to zero. I can see x minus three, x minus four. There will be two factors. So I can write x is equal to three or four. Now you can see here x y is equal to twelve. So if x is equal to three, let me highlight this. Then y will be Because this product is twelve, so y will be four. If x is three, y will be four. If x is four, y will be three. Okay. By putting x value here in this equation, so two pairs, basically x y pair, I can collect from here three comma four and four comma three. Now let's talk about let's solve. the second system of equation okay what i will do i will number again this is my equation 1 this is my equation 2 okay now what i should do 2 minus 1 again same thing so once i will do 2 minus 1 lhs would be as it is twice of x plus y as earlier and this will give us 1 minus of minus 13 so 14 again so x plus y will come out again 7 Done. Now I will put this value in one. So let me put. So I will write x y minus six minus x plus y. So minus seven equal to minus thirteen. X y this thirteen will go to the right. X y will be equal to zero. Okay. So x y is equal to zero. So we can write either y equal to zero. If y equal to zero, put y equal to zero here. Then x will be seven. If x is equal to zero, then y will be seven. You can use both the equations. So two standard pairs you we we will get seven comma zero and zero comma seven. Okay. So let me write now the four answer standard pairs. Let me write here x comma y. Equal to three four four three seven zero zero seven. These are our solution. Now let's verify verification. Let me consider the first case three comma four. Okay, three comma four. I have to put here in the given standard equation. 
the given equation is let me write here one time x y minus 7 whole square equal to x square plus y square okay let's put 3 times 4 12 minus 7 whole square equal to 3 square plus 4 square is this true 5 square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square yes it is true because this is Pythagorean triplet 9 plus 16 25 is equal to 25 it's verified because of this equation is symmetrical so 4 comma 3 is also true now come to 7 0 and 0 7 I will consider 7 comma 0 okay if I am putting directly I can put here 7 comma 0 so 0 minus 7 whole square is equal to 7 square plus 0 square minus 7 square 49 49 true so this pair is also true integer pair is true because of equation is symmetrical 0 comma 7 is also true so this is how we can find out any diophantine equation for integer solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video meet tomorrow Bye-bye.